Welcome back to another tutorial on how to use OpenSCAD. Today I'm going to talk about a common request, which is how do I make a gear in OpenSCAD. Gears are useful for all the machinery that people build with their 3D printers, uh, but generating them can be a bit tricky. There's some scripts out on Thingiverse that allow you to generate scripts directly in OpenSCAD. However, I'm going to show an alternate technique using other uh, open source software programs. The first program that I'm going to use is Inkscape, which is a vector editing program. It's kind of like an open source version of Adobe Illustrator. So there's only really one part of this program that I need to use, and that is this wonderful extension that someone wrote that's a gear generator. So if I go to Extensions, Render, Gear, a dialog will appear with a few options for creating a gear. Um, I've already specified these options. Uh, uh, you can go onto the Wikipedia page for gears to learn about what these mean, but I'm just going to hit apply, and now you see I have a gear that has been generated. Next thing I have to do is I have to save this gear out as a DXF file. So one of the formats that we can save is in DXF, which is a 2D, uh, 2D CAD um, format. So the one labeled desktop cutting plotter or star.dxf, that's the one we want to save as, and we're going to save this as gear.dxf. Now, I'm actually really no good with Inkscape, uh, so I would prefer to edit this and clean it up maybe a bit in a, a different program, one that's really, that I'm, that I'm more familiar with, one that's really meant for DXF files. And the program I'm using is LibreCAD. Uh, LibreCAD is a open source 2D CAD application. Uh, it's a fork of QCAD, which was a, a program put out by um, Ribbonsoft. Um, so I'm just going to go here and I'm going to open up that gear file that we just generated, and you'll see we have this gear. Now the problem I'm going to try to fix is that we are way away from that origin, and I kind of want this right on that origin so that when I open it up in OpenSCAD, I can position it correctly and know I'm positioning it exactly where I want it. Now, I need to be able to move this and center this around the origin. Uh, the problem is, I don't exactly know how I can snap to anything in here that it'll then I can then snap to the origin. As you see, there's no center point. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into a different layer. The gear is in layer one, as you can see. So I go into this zero layer that I'm going to use as my guide layer, and I'm going to draw a couple of lines. Um, and I'm going to use snapping to endpoints. So I'm going to go from one gear here to the uh, opposite point over here, and I'm going to end that line, and I'm going to do the same here to here. Now what I have just done is geometrically calculated out a center point. This should be the center point of the gear in all directions if I snap to the right points here. Double check. Looks good to me. So, um, next step is I go to edit, I go to move, I go that I need to select my points, and this time I'm going to snap to intersections. So, um, I'm going to select the layer I want, obviously. I'm going to snap to that intersection. And now I'm going to just snap to the grid. Okay, and I clicked on my, my origin, and I'm going to say, yeah, delete original. Bring it over. Whoops, what did I do? I think I did not, um, did not actually properly have anything selected. Sorry about that. Always remember to select your objects first. So I go into the layer, I select my layer. That was my mistake. Now that I have my layer selected, I can oops, go back to edit, move, snap onto the intersections, snap that intersection, change my snap back to grid. Move this to my origin. Snap the origin. Yeah, delete the original. And now you can see I've moved this here. I can not view that layer, um, the, the guide layer, and I have my gear centered around the origin. Um, at this point, I think I should probably save it out, and it is time to go into OpenSCAD. So, 
bringing this gear into OpenSCAD is a single statement, and that is the linear extrude statement. Linear extrude can be used to bring a 2D object defined in the 2D subsystem into three dimensions, or it can be used to extrude uh, a 2D object defined in a DXF file into three dimensions. So the two things you need to know are what is the file, in this case gear.dxf. This is in the same directory as gear.dxf. Um, and you also need to know the layer. So if I go back here, you see my, my layer is named layer under bar 1. It's going to bring this layer up into OpenSCAD. Um, I also center this and set my convexity and my height. So if I view this, we should see my gear. And as I flip it around, you can see it's, it's perfectly centered there. Um, after my trouble working in the 2D editor, but uh, that my gear is nice and centered, so I can do other things with it. For example, a common thing that people need to do with gears um, is they need to put a, a bolt through it and capture that bolt in place. So if I do difference, oops, can't type today. I am going to subtract out, using another one of my favorite techniques, a cylinder um, radius to, I don't actually know what this, um, the size of this gear is per se. Uh, I could have defined that a little bit better inside my 2D CAD system, but I didn't do that, so we're just going to guess here. Uh, height is going to be 11, just so that it's more than the, than the, uh, uh, than what we're trying to get through. And I'm also going to center it. So let's see what we got here. So there, there we have a place where we can capture nuts and bolts uh, inside of this gear. Um, oops, it is not. I forgot my other magic parameter. Fn equals 6, and that will make sure that this has exactly uh, six sides if I use the correct syntax. There we are. So I can actually lock a, uh, a nut or a bolt in there and it'll make it turn as the gear is turned, presumably by another gear. So there you have it, how to create gears in OpenSCAD by using other pieces of open source software. Um, all the software I used here today is available cross-platform and it is open source and free for the downloads. Um, so go out there and make something with gears. Thank you.